Hello. 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 Hello.
can stock our cupboards so we can actually buy anything we want because we'll probably get a taxi and the yeah. BTS, BTS back so yeah. let's go shopping Right, so we're just going in. It looks like in this market you get all the uh, local stuff. It's very, very local. A bit of it is a wet market as well. You get all the local classics in here, guys. Classics of Thai food. Yeah, so you got the wet market. It looks like you've also got clothing. Mm. Oh, find out. <laughs> and you got your fruit and veg, which looks really nice here actually. And the prices look good as well. So yeah. hopefully there's some more food which is fresh and ready for us to eat as well, I'm hoping. It might be on the other side or mm. outside the market. Let's go. <laughs> the chilies look so good here. So when you're looking for chilies, just remember, basically, the bigger they are, the sweeter they are, and the less heat they have. Mm. So if you want one with less heat, get the bigger one. You've already made garlic. Mm. Hello. <laughs> they got like a massive knife store here with machetes on it as well. <laughs> that would never be allowed in the markets back in the UK. No chance. That will do for that pig head we just saw. Chop that one up. Yeah. This is something interesting looking. It looks like sesame seeds or sesame with uh, peanuts. Sweet. I think that's sweet. What is this snack? It is a snack, Thai sweet snack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ah. this one is made from like rice crispy. Uh -huh. It's kind of like rice crispy that you made like um, with marshmallow. But this mm. one, instead of using the marshmallow, we use the natural sweetness, which is from cooked sugar cane. Oh, yeah, so. that looks, sounds good. <laughs> Uh, 30 baht for the small one. Okay, we got, yes. Right, our first snack, guys, today. Uh, what is this snack called in Thai? Oh, this one is called Krayasa. Krayasa. Ah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try some Krayasa, guys. We never tried this before. Right, guys, excited, let's try some. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, wow. It smells good. Oh, this is still hot and gooey. It smells sesame, super sweet, loads of peanuts there. Oh, nice breakfast. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> breakfast. It's our first thing we eat today. <laughs> ah, I'm going with a big bed. Mm. Mm. This is amazing. You got peanuts, you got peanuts, rice krispies, <gasps> sugar cane, and sesame as well. This is so, so good. I love it. How we never tried this before? B. Mm. Let me try. Mm. 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 That is actually, in fact, what she said, I was expecting more peanuts. But it's actually rice krispies, yeah. Mm. That's so nice. Mmm. I like mac. <laughs> I like mac mac. Yeah. This is so good. I would expect it to be really, really sweet and like gooey and sticky, but it's so light. Mm. It's really light snack. Make sure you try this definitely when you come to this market or Bangkok. Sawadee What else can we eat? We're in the sweet section, so loads of sweets and desserts. Yeah. You've got mango sticky rice, mm. you got all the Thai desserts as well. Loads of pandan around as well. I don't think we can eat them all, we can show you guys. Yeah. But the price here is really good. That was, yeah, 30 baht for this bag. So the price is really good. Really nice. Look at me. So I'm not mistaken, these desserts here, these yellow ones, are made from egg yolk and sugar. And we've had these and those crispy pancakes you can get, they're really good. But I've never tried it by itself, I don't think. I don't think so. Thai desserts look so beautiful, I love it. All right, let's just walk on the outside for a little bit as well, grab some snack and then we're gonna be back, do some shopping in a wet market. Oh my 
god, the smell of these flowers! So it looks like... Uh, oh my, how happy! I'm I how much in life? Right, so it looks like oh, this market, it goes along the road as well. It's actually really, really long. So we're gonna walk through and explore. And you're coming with us. Kaumangai? Yeah. You're seeing us eating Kaumangai all the time, but we love it and this is perfect mm. breakfast. You want it? Mm. Let's get it. Swadika. Aloy Mai? Aloy. 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 That's what I'm having for breakfast, guys. <laughs> I always wanted to try this dish. I don't know what that is called in English. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, it looks very interesting. Video, Dai Maika? Video, Dai. Dai, Dai. you know that and I wanted to try this soup maybe it's fish now soup I'm not sure but I wanted to try it for ages now I always see Thai ladies eating it so let's try some what I worry about is consistency and I don't really know what this soup includes uh, I don't know what this bits are they like a bit jelly so and I also worry if I'm not gonna like it I will have to eat it because I don't want to offend anyone. Right, let's try the broth. <laughs> it's not bad at all. And it's not fishy at all. I would have expected to be fishy as I said fish soup. It's not fishy at all. I love it. What I worry about is this jelly jellyfied looking thing I'm not sure what that is I have no idea uh, but I will try it now rather dig it than me <laughs> what is it I don't know it's nice is it chewy it's not bad it's not chewy and it's soft it like melts like breaks underneath your tank literally crazy so what we got here we got a little bit of chicken we've got uh, my favorite blood cake and we also have uh, some of these little quail eggs they so nice but I think I'm gonna add some pepper and chilies to it mix it in mix it mix it and now we can try some soup with chicken as well mm. oh yeah Oh, that changed flavor completely and it's actually really really good the chicken here is so so soft you're gonna love your cow guy Danny a little quail egg as well mm. the soft inside so boiled guys this is unbelievable everything in this dish is so soft you literally touch it with your tongue and it just disappears in your mouth this is a really, really good dish. I probably will be having that again. I don't know how to explain this one, but if you're new here, this is a cow mangai, and it's basically a boiled chicken with a rice, which also is cooked in like a stock. You have a blood cake, and the main thing is this sauce. It's a mix of uh, chili, garlic, and this is what makes a dish for me is this. Mm. <laughs> The sauce here looks amazing because I've actually seen a lady on the table in front of us. She's actually chopping all this up fresh for this cow man guy. So let's give it a go. Bit of the sauce, bit of the rice. Cheers, guys. 
Oh my. That is good. That chicken is so soft. It's really soft. Yeah. And yes, the sauce of this one is a little bit spicy, but the spiciness is coming from the garlic. So it's not chili spice, it's a heat spice from the uh, ginger. Yeah, it's a heat spice from the ginger. Mm. It's not hot as in chili spicy. That's so good. And I've got blood cake as well. Mm. So, my advice to you is go and try these places, try the smaller places. The Michelin style places aren't always the best. So, try these local spots. And it's only 60 baht for this dish. It's a bargain. It's a lot of food for 60 baht. Oh, Dan is 50, mine is 60. <laughs> okay. Very, very nice, smiley people. Alright, we had some of the good food, now we can carry on walking now, guys. <laughs> yeah, I've got to fill a little hole in my stomach, but I could have a sweet treat, I think. There is so much, so much food on the outside, guys, when you walk. Uh, when you walk around on the pavement, oh look, the duck and mukrop, that looks really, that looks really well. good over there. We can eat over there as well, don't worry. <laughs> we still got space in our tummy. So this is just like a typical weekend for us guys. We basically get out in the morning uh, from home. Then we just take a BTS. We go somewhere, explore somewhere where we haven't been before yet. Uh, have some lovely food somewhere. And then in the evening, we will go and have drinks somewhere. Like we're doing today. Today we're having a date night, but we're not taking you with us guys. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah guys, there's so much food around here. You just walk around, there's stalls all the way down the streets. But we love coming to these kind of places. We speak a little bit of Thai. They speak a little bit of English, but together we can get through and order our food, so it's fine. We've always got Google Translate to help you, which is very helpful sometimes for the menus. But yeah, this area is quite cool. Very local. Lots of the little knick-knack shops where you can get all your household stuff, like masks and general housey stuff. And lots of food shops. Yum. We just came across um, Radna place, Radna Chawat. It looks, it looks old, it looks authentic as well. The menu looks amazing, guys. So, a place for Diggy, not for me. Yeah. I don't like this dish too much. <laughs> But they do do soups and stuff like that as well, yeah. so yeah. But this place looks so old school. You can see the sign above me, and Biggie flicks it up, and it's really old. So I don't know how old this place is, but it looks authentic, old, and it looks like they know what they're doing. I think they are actually only just cooking Radna. If you don't know what the Radna is, the rad Radna is a dish which basically has a really thick consistency. It has a consistency of a really thick gravy and it actually tastes very similar to English gravy so I am really not sure why Danny doesn't like it because it's too gloopy <laughs> it's like thick gravy but that place looks really cool they're still cooking on charcoal mm. as well they're not cooking on gas yeah so you we, can tell it's quite original when they're still cooking on charcoal yeah That's we cool. we would have had some but it wasn't ready yet they weren't open yet so yeah oh look at the cute coffee shop a lot of good food around here, isn't it? Yeah, there's lots of like, hidden things, like that little coffee shop. Yeah. There's loads of stuff here. And I haven't seen a 7-Eleven yet. No, I haven't <laughs> yet. Oh, 7-Eleven's just oh. there. <laughs> just here, there is a really nice looking mook crop, guys, and pet that. Right, guys, we're gonna have some snack in here as well. It looks like you can get a wontons and then some duck or wontons and mook crop as well. I haven't seen this combination before. We're gonna try some and show you around. So, Kapkuna Kap, yeah, guys. Food looks amazing here. Yeah. Lucky we started going to the gym, guys, because we would be getting so fucked in Thailand. Kapkuna Kap. Menu is also menu is also in English, so pasta and greet menu pasta and greet. So that's always always uh, better for us, easier for us as well. And I'm gonna go with roast duck with shrimp wontons and uh, petsy pa, 80 pa. I'm gonna be so full. We just had <laughs> the Kamangai literally five minutes ago. Yeah. But the duck here looks amazing, you saw through the window. 
So I don't know if I'm going for duck or moo crop. They have moo crop here. So give me five minutes and I'll let you know. They have barbecue pork here. They have crispy pork. They have a duck pork. Duck pork? Duck pork. <laughs> <laughs> Roast duck. So many different combination. Mainly is moo crop and duck. But you get so many com different combinations with noodles, with rice, with egg, with no egg, with soup, with no soup. Nice, I think it's all long tea. It's not sweet at all. Nice and refreshing. We always get out in the middle, walking in the middle of the day when it's really, really hot. Whole week, guys, it was a little bit raining, it was a really cold nice chilled weather and today is the hottest day and we are out exploring <laughs> that is usually the case oh yeah i hope you enjoy this type of video if you do guys please make sure you give a thumbs up because basically we're just showing you what we got up to at the weekend this is just our normal weekend fun eat a lot and walk around explore bangkok yeah, but hopefully we're showing you some different areas of Bangkok where people don't generally go or yeah, really go. So it's a bit out of the, it's not out of the way. You can get here quite easy, but most people wouldn't choose to come to this area. It's not really popular, but we like these areas because the food is really good, the people are really nice, and the prices are also really good as well. It's not inflated so much, but mainly the food is top notch. It's good. Really good food. As you can see, we're having two breakfasts within the space of five minutes. <laughs> The food has arrived! This looks amazing! Check this out, what I've got, I've got shrimp wonton guys with roast duck on the top. But also, you can see, I got a little bit of gravy in it too. I'm going in first with shrimp wonton. Mm. Oh my god. Good? Yeah. I got the same. Oh, this is so good. The shrimp wonton is not the minced shrimp, guys. It's actually whole shrimp just wrapped in the wonton. It's so good. Oh, so good. Yeah, what gravy? I saw, I think he's got like a whole gravy. So a massive pot as you walked in of gravy. And it's all over the top of our dish. I'm going for that now. So soft. This is amazing, amazing food. Amazing combination when you have wontons, gravy, a little bit of green veg, guys. Mm. And that gravy, sweet, dark, soft, dark. <laughs> This is one of the top places I've ever eaten shrimp wontons. Mm. Dan, you have to come here. I think, yeah, one of the best duck places we went to was with Dan. And that was, where was that too? That was in... Bangra. Yeah, Bangra. So, how is it compared to the famous one in Bangra? Well, the duck is not as good as in the other one. But the shrimp wontons, guys, they are something else. Cheers. <laughs> I'm going to try mine now. I'm hungry as well. Check out the thickness of that moo crop. How thick a piece that is. And there's no fat on it, except for the crispy bit on top. So first thing first, let's try this. Mm. Oh, that is so good. Now they always say a good test of good moo crop is if it stays crispy when it's in the soup. Now, Diggy's been eating for five minutes. This has been sitting there for five minutes and it's still super crispy. Oh, that is so nice. And there's not big thick bits of fat throughout this one. It's all meat and just that crispy pork skin on the top. Mm, that is so good. Get my soup. I'm gonna try some Danny's broth. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, this is nice. You yes. wanna you wanna try my duck and I try your mukro? Swap. One mukro. One swap. Oh. The sauce from the duck is really good. It's slightly mm. sweet. It's not too sweet. Nice gravy sauce. So it's really good. Sometimes it can be a bit too sweet. That's a bit peppery as well. A bit pepper on top. Right. When you here, go for one things with mukro. The mukro is out of this world 
That's really good. There's hardly any fat on this one at all. No fat. It's all meat and just a crispy skin on the top. But yeah, I went for soup. You can have a different option with no soup if you're quite full. But I quite fancy the soup. Uh, I'm going to enjoy this and I'll see you in a minute. Um. Hello, Mark. Captain So that was another lovely, lovely food, guys. We have to show this place from the outside. That place is really busy, and you can see why. It's really good food, really good. Yep. Yep, I'm yep, yep. So full now. But I just could fit in something sweet, maybe. Yeah. Ice cream yeah, or chicken soup. Something fruity. <laughs> Just point, gonna point it out, the problems with the camera guys. GoPro is so rubbish sometimes, it's overheating. We lost so much footage, footage minute ago, it's so annoying. Right, let me do this one really then. This is good coconut. Let me show them what we bought because we got rid on the video. You didn't see it on the video because it cut out. So I hope you can see this time. We finally found, we bought some of these big grapes guys. We wanted to try it for ages, but some of times they are very expensive. In the market over there it was uh, 350 bar for a kilo. This is a little bit less in here and they cost less as well. We didn't want to pay for a big bunch, but we got these. Right, let's try some. Oh yeah. These are so, so good like all the fruits in Thailand but grapes are amazing guys you have to try it they're so juicy and especially these this big huge green grapes they amazing they worth every penny even if they cost a little bit more yeah no these are amazing mm. definitely go and try these huge grapes but try and find it where it's a little bit cheaper get a smaller bunch most of the places sell it in massive big boxes bunch, yeah. yeah 100 baht for this box so mm. worth it yeah. mm. they are so juicy so sweet Refreshing, it's so much juice inside, honestly. Mm. And you missed yeah. it on the video, we did record this a minute yeah, ago, and but the lady was so funny over there, but mm. the SD card messed up yeah. somehow. We will but come back, maybe <laughs> they want to say hello, so you can actually see where we were bought these grapes, guys. So we just bought our grapes here, if you see people wearing yellow tops and the red aprons as well, make sure you come here because it's really good fruit and really good prices as well. Yeah. We doing another purchase around the Ratcha, Ratchawat market, guys. We are getting table for our balcony. Danny, show them. How much is this one? 450 baht, but it's perfect because uh, it folds up and it's. Where is it? Ah. Oh, yeah. It folds up as well, so. It's perfect for the condo. Oh. <laughs> So then I can, we can sit on a balcony and I can edit your videos and I don't have to sit on the sofa anymore. You sit outside with our wicked view that we exactly. have. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we are gonna go on the BTS with that table. <laughs> <laughs> right, we are fed. You saw what we had to eat in the a, in a market. We've done some other shopping as well. We bought some fruit for home and a table as well. <laughs> Oh yeah, now let's try to get home. It's gonna be a challenge to go somewhere with that one. <laughs> but we're gonna try BTS. We've got our table with us guys. Can we get on it with can we get with that table to BTS? We're not sure but we will try. If not we will have to take taxi long way home and it takes one hour. Yeah, the difference between being 20 minutes on the BTS or an hour in a taxi, yeah. so we're going to try it. Yeah. yeah. BTS always wins. So you can take a suitcase, so I don't see why you can't take exactly. this. Exactly. Yeah. So we are driving from uh, through Ari area now, and this is the area we never explored before in Bangkok. And I tell you what, I think it will be worth coming here, but there is different side to Bangkok here basically you have a lot of sky rises around you but you also have a lot a lot of um, 
posh coffee shops, posh cafes and really nice restaurants and stuff like that everywhere looks you know really clean and very modern as well new modern area i think Ari is yeah Ari looks like a really cool area guys it's a uh, very new and it has a lot a lot of nice little stalls with food and uh, refreshing drinks as well it's yeah So we're back home now we've made it safely with that table it wasn't too bad actually it's no problem you can take that on bts so if you're doing any little light shopping or little furniture light shopping you can use bts that's quite cool so yeah that was a little trip around the ratwat market it's just something you want to go and see mm. go and get some food chill out relax and take you with us yeah so you can just see a different area and what we get up to on the weekend sometimes yeah exactly yeah. this so, wasn't a big planned trip just something to go and see something to go and do and show you guys a different part of bangkok mm. so we just want to say goodbye from here guys make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button because then you will never miss any of our vlogs make sure you give a thumbs up thumbs up and see you in next one thank you for staying to the end it always means a lot if you did stay to the end make sure you let us know in the comments because we are very interested to know who's actually watching to the end so thanks for watching guys again and see you in next one see ya bye